welcome back my guys to another bass tour and for today we're going with this nice simple basic layout i mean i do like it pretty much we have some nice peaks on all three sides of the base which is pretty nice we got a nice cavity shooting floor we got a vending machine and we've got a very nice offset bunk going on in the base so i would say we jump right into the tour by itself so as you already can see we have those nice peaks here but i will show you further in the base too so excuse me for having some legs while showing you around yeah basically it's blood sanctuary so never mind we will take a closer look right here we've got a vending machine our workbench and on this side we've got space for batteries, some electric furnaces and a huge loot room on this side with space for 10 large boxes. I mean, if you have the Frontier update, if you don't have it, you will not fit as much boxes inside. But yeah, let's see right here. We got the jump down, the drop down to our bunker. And the bunker we've got space for another additional four large boxes and four small boxes. And if we pick up this window, you will see the upkeep right here. That's a complete upkeep and I would say in the base, which offers so much like this, this is pretty doable without any issues, okay? Even if you play just some days per week or even some hours, that's pretty doable. All right, let me show you further around. So if we jump up right here, and in the airlock, we got the entrance for our shooting floor. If we jump right up here, we will see those nice peaks which we have on all three sides of the base. They are covered by those doors and makes it not possible to push someone inside or even drop down. That's pretty nice. I mean, obviously your gun can drop down, but that's it. And yeah, the shooting floor gives us a nice visibility, 360 degrees. To be exactly, you can watch completely around and as I said, we've got those peaks on all three sides of the base. We got space for a bedroom in here, a locker, some boxes which we can use and obviously these boxes we shouldn't use, okay? These are just as a jump up. So for example, if you jump on top, you've got the better peaks right here and there. So yeah, that's basically it with the shooting floor. And I will show you the roof as well. So if we jump through this ladder hatch, we will reach the top area. On the roof, we've got some ramps for some nice peaks. And also we've got some turrets completely covering the roof area. And what I do like as well, if we jump on top of here, we've got some nice peaks to the ground floor as well on all three sides of the base. And um, basically, if we don't, wouldn't place those to play builds we, we are still able to place a helicopter on top of the roof without any problems and if you want so of course you can add a wind turbine on top but basically i think some of those solar panels will do the job if you don't have too much electricity going on so basically that's it already with the tour but let me show you before the bunker that's pretty simple it's a simple offset bunker you can see it from the inside and from the outside so basically you don't have to have a, a sleeping bag in your core that should be fine if you don't have one so right here we can place this tile and upgrade it to armored and boom we've got our armored bunker and obviously the frame should be armored as well otherwise it wouldn't make too much sense so we see that up upgrade it to armor and boom our bunker is closed to reopen the bunker we have to spawn outside or go outside and on this side you will see those two half walls and this one will basically work for the bunker. So you just go ahead, place a square, place a roof on top and the bunker is open. That's basically it with the base tool. And if you have any problems with the bunker, I don't know what's the issue. Some of your people have issues with the offset bunker, but I can tell you 100% they're working without any issues. I was playing and those bunkers for the last few days on official Rust servers, so that shouldn't be any problem. Yeah, if you play on some modded servers or something like that, I have heard from people they're not able to reopen the bunker 
but if you play on official Rust, there shouldn't be any issues. All right, I would say if you enjoyed it so far, we will see us right away in the base build. Welcome back to today's base build and as always we're going to begin with the starter unit we keep it simple for today and as you wished we go expand to the final state of everything so let's get right into it we're going to start with a simple tree by tree nothing too crazy and then we go ahead and completely seal it off except for one part and this part only so it's up to you which side you want to use that's your thing and basically the middle of the base don't has to be high quality it can stay metal that's pretty fine for the moment and as you can see already the building servers are laggy once again but never mind we're gonna continue from here we got space for TC in here and basically yeah that's pretty much it right we got space for some boxes we're gonna place this right here close it up like this and Normally I don't keep the jump up like this, we should do it on this way. Grade this up and boom, you got your first loot room down without any issues. And basically for the jump up right now you should use a simple furnace or basically ladder hatch or ladder room that's completely up to you. So now we can go ahead, place a garage door in here, that's fine as well. Just like so and then continue simply with the jump up um, the jump up is not that easy we should start basically before with the bunker so we get this nice loot room on top so let's begin with the bunker so for the bunker part we just go on the left room side of the jump up and then you will go ahead place this wall and this wall can be already upgraded let me do it for the moment just out of stone then we will continue with the normal offset bunker you go ahead right here, place a square foundation, then move to the right side and go out 15 triangles. And at the end, just want to go back the complete way and remove all of these triangles. Make sure you do going to do it from the back side, then you can use it to see access and you don't have to chop anything out. So go back to the square we just placed, look a little bit to the ground and go the complete way back. Just like so. Then you want to make sure you look to the left room side of the corner we just created. And boom, it should look exactly like this. We want to have those white stone animations on the left side and want to upgrade it directly. So from now you can remove all of these squares, just go from the back side once again so you don't have to chop it out and then we will just go ahead and repeat the step as before. 15 triangles out. So then you want to go ahead and remove it all the way back and excuse me for the legs, it's built a sanctuary sadly. I'm used to play on this server. All right, just continue what we started. Now you want to go directly ahead. We can go to metal already. That's fine. Upgrade those two parts and then you can also remove all of these squares. That's fine. Just like so. Then make sure while placing this triangle you go from the outside just like so then you should reach 28 person stability and this is exactly what we want so now we want to place the frame make sure you go from the outer side just like this check the stability now we want to test the bunker go ahead and replace this part place the roof on top and the bunker is open that's pretty much the offset bunker, pretty common design right now. Let me color this up, I do hate it if it's too colorful. And now we can continue with the honeycomb and even further more base upgrades. Let's begin on this side so we can simply seal this part already up. Place the door inside. And basically you want to use one of those rooms for a battery room 
and the other one can be used for furnaces for example or you could even use it I don't know as a locker room or something like this that's completely up to you and from this point we want to just completely seal up the honeycomb so we just go on the other sides and basically close them up while doing so always make sure you go from the outside with those triangles because we don't want to fuck up our bunker okay this wall should be obviously upgraded as well and as soon as we reach this state we are doing pretty well now we can already start to begin with a real entrance and an airlock so we don't have to be scared all the day gray this part up and basically it will also work as an entrance to our second floor if you don't want to expand too soon you can just go ahead and close it up with a wooden piece and chop it out later that will also do the job but i'm going to show you right away how we're going to do it later on okay so and basically these parts will be completely sealed just like so and this one will be a pretty nice lead room if we do have the frontier update we can fit 10 large boxes inside if you don't have them it will be just six big boxes and some small ones as well so now on this part we want to have a vending machine on this side and this side can be sealed up and basically we can close everything so let's get the ladder hatch down get some doors down the airlock is working just like that you want to place a window obviously and boom we got it pretty cozy in here and as i said before you could use this for example for the large furnaces and place a garage door inside and here for example you can go ahead and place your large battery just like so and seal it up that will do the job that's up to you how you want to like it how you want to do it i basically highly recommend to place a garage door in front of the shop as well so and that's pretty much it with the basic layout and if people think already this looks very close to dust last update yes it does basically but i do like to have my own touch on this basic layout and i mean it's nothing too crazy new it's not a new wheel so now we want to go on this sides and upgrade those parts to stone to give some more extra protection i mean basically it doesn't raise rate because but it will create some nice jump ups for example for the vending machine and for the entrance itself so i'm gonna do it like this now we come to the interesting part the shooting floor which i do like pretty much so for the shooting floor we keep it simple we will use stone and just on the straight parts you want to add those windows just like so and because i do like to have skins we will upgrade them to brutalist and from this thing it is also pretty simple we want to place those frames place a roof triangle on top and this basically on all sides of the base just like so and now we want to have those door frames which will create the um how should i explain so you can't jump inside those gaps we just created so basically those doors if they are open are working like a block so people will be not able to jump from downstairs or from here to this part and you've got some pretty nice peaks in here i do like them to protect your entrance and if you want so you can also camp people on the vending machine just get those doors down keep it simple just like that and basically what i do like to do before opening all those doors create those extra protection right here so people will be not able if, for, if you close up the roof to jump just on top of the roof and enter 
So basically right now you could be able, if it's closed, to jump in from here and to pretend that we keep it simple and just use the doorway on this side and also it will keep those peaks alive. Very important for the peaks, always leave those doors open, okay? So basically one door would also do the job. But I do like it like this. Just like so, that's your roof. And now we want to close this part also up. And obviously we want to have the middle made out of metal. So if you want to keep the base like this, you can simply close this up. Otherwise, if you want to have a shooting, uh, another roof axis, you can simply go ahead and place, for example, a ladder edge in the middle. What I wouldn't do, I would place a ladder edge somewhere here so it doesn't get direct to the core. That makes pretty much more sense if you would place it, for example, on this corner, just like so. And from here, gently go ahead, take those impressors and go the complete way around. And boom, we got our shooting floor completely done. 